Okay, Wild Indian. That's the guy. So let's go. He's playing Batman. Aha, uh -huh, he goes for this line. Seravan's variation. Here you go, 95, threatening both. And it's considered to be bad. Now you just go, for example, c6. He can't move the bishop away. Now you just take, open up the game. You can even play h5. Oh, he can play bishop e2, but I have h4, huh? Yeah. Maybe I was supposed to take on d3. It's stupid to wait with that so much time. But okay, it's nice. I gotta take this one. go with this one but maybe he's got some stupid bishop g5 now I go with this On bishop g5 I whoops I'm gonna take here well bishop g5 queen b6 that was critical line <clears throat> I'll go here. Now I'm threatening rook c8. The point of rook c8 <coughs> is that actually he has to play queen a4. Queen a6. just move my king so not to blunder any checks but let me just move it here queen h2 king f1 what do i need there knight f2 king f2 aha maybe this one and then h4 yeah and that's that's pretty much it I even have h3 afterwards yeah uh, when you lose the light square bishop in the servants line i used to play this with a white pieces for a long time and when you lose the light square bishop you can handle the pressure i remember one of my students who i taught to play this with white pieces made the same mistake and then we agreed about that wants to create some tactics h takes work here queen here king e2 he threatens there i gotta take and now he threatens rook h3 if i play here He can play anything, and I'm threatening f5, queen e6, f takes e4, nothing. Queen h1, king e2. Aha, uh -huh, maybe bishop g4 I'm threatening now. Yeah, 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 bishop g4, nice one. That h6 is a strong move. Maybe he has to take. And then I can even give check. Okay, on that one, do I have bishop g4? Yep, now I want to play. Let me go here. If he plays bishop h6, I take. He takes, I play queen d4, check. Aha, uh -huh, queen a7, he played. Check. Okay. 
Let me just go here to simplify. Oh, baby. Watch out. Watch out, wild Indian. You gotta watch out, your queen. Let's go. Rematch. Karakan, let's go. I love it. Bishop d3 for you. Queen a5, everybody plays that line now. Oh, this guy doesn't want to go for that. Okay, 92. Any queen a64. If you're happy to take it, let it be. Any c5, c4. Okay. Castle short. Mm -hmm. Let me just take it. I mean, I don't care if you take on e5. I can play queen g3. I can do like a whole bunch of things there. Mm -hmm. Let me just go with a queen g3. Defending this pawn and threatening bishop e7, queen g7 in some lines if he takes on c4 i jump with the knight on e4 why do i have feeling that i know this guy uh he goes there if i take take if i take aha uh -huh, knight f5 okay um c takes d5 queen e2 d takes e6 let me just take here let me just take there And then I'm just gonna move my knight c3 with tempo. Mm -hmm. D takes c6, knight g3, some craziness. No, I can't play that. to do this and if 95 queen e4 a rig d5 knight c3 on that one knight c3 bishop g5 knight d5 and then i have knight c7 in the end of everything 95 queen e4 he doesn't have rig d4 because of queen e5. Interesting. Rook e5. Let me just take there. Let me just move it here. Not, not there. He wants knight d4. Let me go with this move. My plan is queen f4. Okay. Queen f4. If knight e2, knight e2. Rook is hanging. If rook e4, queen e4. Otherwise, I'm gonna blunder fork. He has to do that. Let's go with this move. If he takes, I take. He goes there. Knight g3. Interesting. If this one. Am I threatening knight d6? Knight d6. Okay. Knight e2. I gotta take. And play knight g3. Oh! I would blunder that. I would blunder that. Okay, now I'm threatening queen before. Pushing c6, going for the pawn on b7. I almost blundered Brook. Let me just go with this. Question is do I have something there or not? Queen d7. Check. 
Oh, I'm gonna get made it if I'm pushing here. I'm gonna get made it here. Stupid me. I wanna play Queen H4, Knight E4. And if he plays knight, knight g3. Aha, <laughs> queen h5 in the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. 